We're going to go uh, ahead and call into order the uh, Board of Building and Zoning Appeals for August 28, 2024. Uh, we have the time at 6.35. Uh, if we could have a roll call, please. Tom Brown? Here. Chris Griffith? Here. Michael Jameson? Here. Ed Kanzler? Here. Uh, if we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll start our work session here. Um, we have just one uh, appeal for today. Uh, the appeal is 06-2020-2024, variance requested at parcel 64-08455-9330 Dutton Drive. If we could have the applicant uh, to the podium, if that's you, yeah. perfect. If you could state your name, uh, and your address, and then just kind of give us a brief synopsis. Your uh, home address, business address, or? Uh, business address, if we could. Okay. Yep. My name is Bruce Baum. I'm a professional engineer, and i am uh, been hired by the developer to work on this project. I reside, my business resides at 51 Meadow Lane in Summit County, uh, which is just off of Northfield Road. Um, and just kind of give us a little rundown of what you're requesting today for sure. a Thank you. So uh, the project that uh, has currently been reviewed uh, went through planning, final planning, um, ADR, which all went through okay. Uh, you're our last stop, hopefully. <laughs> uh, what we're trying to do is get a variance for the front yard setback from 50 to 25 feet. We feel that the, the project itself is a self-storage facility. Um, it's, it's a very, very difficult site. I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but basically it's a five, over a five-acre site of which 35% of the site is occupied by a first energy easement, which we cannot build on, we cannot park on. And the only thing that um, first energy is allowing us to do is, is to extend part of the retention basin into their property. So that that was one of the, just to make the numbers work, uh, that was one of the major issues. The other major issue is there's a uh, 100 yards, 100 foot setback from the residential, which is on the back side of the property, which we cannot build within that 100 feet. Uh, there's also a 20 foot setback from the same residential area that cannot be disturbed. Um, we also met with uh, Lieutenant Dunn in the fire department and he had some certain requirements he was looking for because of the geometry of the site. He wants to make sure a, a fire engine can maneuver around the site properly and get the proper turning radiuses and so forth. And um, so we had to increase some of the turning radiuses which we did through Matt Weber, our engineer. Um, so our, our building setbacks are all within compliance. The only thing we're asking for is the connection between the two drives, which you'll see on the drawing, and that's where the encroachment from 50 to 25 we're looking for. Any questions, Tom? No, uh, none. No. Um, I think as you stated, it's a very hard property to develop. You seem to met almost 95% of the requirements that you, you met here except for this one. So um, at this time, I, I don't have any questions. Uh, Councilman, do you have any comments or questions for the applicant? Uh, just from the standpoint of it's always great when somebody's building and bringing a business to our community. So much appreciated for uh, doing that. Thank from you. Building? No, just note for the record, we did not see any correspondence um, in reference to this request for a zoning appeal, neither positive nor negative. Uh, the applicant has stated correctly the uh, the way the site is designed and the pavement variance that he is requesting uh, does allow for better access for the fire department. Okay. 
Um, so at this time, we're going to uh, just ask you to sit down. We're going to go through a couple things real quick, and then we'll get a vote in the regular meeting. Appreciate that. Thank you. So at this time, we'll go ahead and end uh, the work, ses work session at 640 and roll right into our regular uh, scheduled meeting. Um, do we have anybody in public participation today that would like to speak on anything? Anything. Anything. So I'm guessing I know what you want to speak on, so if you want to come on up for an hour to speak, do I don't. I mean, we can wait till next time if you want. No, no, because you're here and it's on the record, and then we can yeah. state that if, you, if for some reason you can't make it to the next meeting, ah, at least we have it on record. Gotcha. If that's okay with you. It's fine with me. Okay. I'm going to just give reference. I'm guessing you're uh, speaking on Appeal 04 2024. Yes. Okay, thank you. It just uh, I know you signed in, but just for the record, just in case, if you could just state your name, your address for mm -hmm. us as well. Thank yes, you. Yes, my name is Leona Jackson. I live at 9414 Shepherd Road, uh, Macedonia, Ohio, 44056, across the street. From the appeal address of the 9385 Shepherd Road, and looking at the information that was sent to me of what, what um, the folks want to do, I just could not see how they could put in four houses there based on the shape of the land. So I figured, let me come and find out what's going on. And since, because I'm also on the Homeowner Association across the street board, I need to also relate back to what's going on to them. So if they want to make any comments or stuff, they can do so. Um, and and so that's basically my comment. Um, is she allowed to contact the building department for information on this? Like what would be public records from the other public? I would have to confirm that. Okay. I don't know for sure. I, I would say, first of all, thank you very much for coming this evening. Yeah. Um, this agenda item will be on next month's BZA agenda, and okay. you will, we, we'll, we are required to send you another letter. Okay. Um, in the interim, if you'd like to contact the building department, if you go to mytwinsburg.com, I'm Dale stepping back from the building commissioner. Okay. My phone number or email is right at the top right of our page. Mm -hmm. Give me a call on Monday. I'll see what is considered public record and not public okay. record and see what I could share with you as far as what uh, what they're seeking a variance for. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Okay, seeing no other uh, public participation at this time, we'll go ahead and end that session and we'll call um, the applicant up for appeal number 06 2024 back up to the uh, podium for him. Thank you, sir. Um, at this time, I move to. Well, I guess, okay, any questions on anything? No. For the applicant? No. No. Um, at this time, I move to grant the variance. Uh, for appeal number 06 2024 um, for the 9330 Dutton Drive uh, for a variance of 25 feet for the roadway setback. Um, at this time, uh, do I have a motion to approve? I'll second your motion. Okay. Uh, Any other further discussion on the motion? Okay. Chris Griffith? Yes. Ed Kanzler? Yes. Tom Brown? Yes. And Michael Jameson. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Motion is very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have a motion to approve minutes from July 24, 2024? So moved. Second. Okay. Motion to approve the minutes July 24, 2024. Tom Brown? Yes. Ed Kanzler? Yes. Chris Griffith? Yes. Michael Jameson? Yes. Okay. Uh, any communications for us? Other than we do know now there will be a September meeting with... Yep. Yeah, there will be a September September meeting will happen with the, the appeal for Shepherd Road. Um, I'm not aware of anything else that's come in for that meeting thus far, mm -hmm. other than that. Uh, Council that Okay. Uh, do we have a motion to excuse uh, Shannon today from the meeting? So moved. Second. Okay. 
Uh, Tom Brown? Yes. Ed Kanzler? Yes. Chris Griffith? Yes. Michael Jameson? Yes. We'll go ahead and uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and end the meeting at 6.45. I'm going to do a roll call.